Hey guys, it's Aaron here from Sword Carolina. I'm introducing to you our newest video series on Mare. Uh, so we got a lot of good feedback from our old series on Dobringer. Uh, that's still up there. I hope you guys are still watching that. Uh, we learned a lot doing that, and I, I hope that we, we helped a lot of people uh, learn a few things. Uh, but we wanted to tackle something new. We've had a lot of requests for different things. Uh, couldn't really decide on one, one thing to do, and so we decided to go in a different direction and, and highlight kind of one of the uns, unsung heroes of HEMA, which is Mare. Uh, so Paulus Hector Mare, uh, he put together the most, uh, the, the biggest, most lavish, most beautifully produced, most comprehensive encyclopedia, if you will, on HEMA uh, that there was, his opus. It, it's published in two volumes, it's a thousand pages long, and it contained everything he could find on, on HEMA, on European martial arts, uh, specifically for Germany. And he was really concerned that, that these arts would die out, right? So he was concerned that they would lose this. And, and so he published this as his love of this martial art uh, and love of this history so that it wouldn't be lost. And in large part, like, he's the one that really allowed HEMA to be practiced today. Uh, if not for him, we probably would have lost a lot of material uh, that he personally saved. Uh, so, but... <laughs> This also covers a ton, a ton of stuff. It's not just longsword, right? It's, it's not just regular weapons. There's a lot of longsword. There's a lot of ringing. There's a lot of stuff that we've, we've done. But then there's dagger fighting. There's polearm fighting. There's weird stuff. There's like sickle and scythe and flail. There's all kinds of stuff in here. And so we decided to tackle this. This is going to be a major, major project. Uh, this is going to take us years to do. So... <laughs> Uh, we're not going to we're not going to hurry through this. We're going to take our time, go through step by step. We're going to go through every plate uh, and cover everything we can do. We haven't figured out how to get horses up here yet, but we're going to figure out something for that. Um, so I, I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. Uh, this Merritt really doesn't get the love that he deserves, and the man, I'm I'm really excited about just learning a lot of new things going through this. Even just going through with the foundation of what we know already or what we've learned already, and just being exposed to new ideas and new, new concepts and new looks at the same techniques, like new perspectives on the same techniques. So I'm really, really excited about going through it. I've been having loads of fun already. We started filming this a, a couple months ago uh, just to get some like video ready for you guys. We're ready to start uploading it to you guys now. Um, so we're really, really excited about it. The, the way that we split this up uh, in our school, we didn't want to go through from beginning to end. Um, the, the way we have classes here, we have, uh, I'm teaching three classes a week on the interpretations from Mare, and we didn't want it to have just like three classes of longsword with all different techniques, and then people would get all confused. So we actually have it uh, split up, uh, and I'm explaining this because this is, going to how be, this is going to be how we are uploading it to you guys. I was splitting it up into three categories. Um, these are somewhat arbitrary, but just to kind of split it into thirds, we have Mare's Fencer. So this is going to be, uh, this is the class I teach on Tuesdays. This is going to be the long sword. This is going to be the dusak, the side sword. And then we're going to have Mare's peasant or Mare's like self-defense. And this is going to be self-defense, All right, This is going to be ringing. This is going to be dagger fighting. This is going to be impromptu weapons like sickles and sides and stuff. And then we'll have Mare's uh, warrior or his, his soldier. This is going to be really the, the weapons of war. This is going to be your pole arms. This is going to be the armored fighting, the, the fighting on horseback. Uh, so that's kind of how we're splitting up uh, the categories of it through the week. And so as we present it to you, as this uh, series is starting, you're going to see long sword stuff. You're going to see pole axe. Uh, excuse me, you're going to see halberd first, and then you're going to see dagger. Uh, but as time goes on, as we go through those, we will get into the other weapons as well. So we're hugely excited about this. Um, I hope you guys uh, learn some stuff from this. I hope we can like highlight uh, another manuscript that doesn't get the love it really deserves. I uh, hope we have a good time with this. Hopefully that you follow through too. Um, so the videos that we're putting up to YouTube uh, for you guys for free, uh, I think they contain a lot of information. We will be doing more in-depth uh, teaching videos on Sword Carolina online. So if you are uh, mildly interested in HEMA, you're just a, you know, a fan of HEMA and are really enjoying uh, getting some, some good basic information and basic interpretations, watch these YouTube videos, have fun with them. If you want to take it a little more seriously and like take a, a bit more of an in-depth study, 
uh, then I encourage you to try Sword Caroline online. We keep the price really cheap for you guys. We don't have any contracts, so you can try it out and, uh, and get some like really serious study of this martial art. So I hope you guys like it and go ahead and watch the first video. All right, we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks.